Boom shakalaka, what is up crypto love? Randall here and today I put together an episode for you about what I think could be the number one coin for 2018. Now before we get started on that, I just wanna say thank you to everyone subscribing. We've almost got 50,000 subscribers. This is crazy, okay? 69,000 is coming up next for all of you guys. Looking forward to that. Also guys, thank you to everyone liking the videos. If you guys wanna find out how to win a Ledger Nano S that I give away every Tuesday for free at our late night live streams, uh, stay tuned. And then lastly guys, this Sunday, we have the webinar to end all webinars coming up. If you guys wanna figure out how to make $100,000 this year in cryptocurrencies, this is the webinar for you. Go to crypto-love.com slash 100K. It's gonna do everything from beginner, even people with zero dollars, beginner all the way to, if you've already been making a whole bunch of money, how to freaking crush it this year. So make sure you go sign up for that now. Now guys, why do I say that this could be the number one cryptocurrency for 2018? Well, if you guys have watched the channel for long enough, you know that I like the platforms, okay? I like things like NEO, LISC, Cardano, EOS. Why do I like them? Because they have a whole bunch of other decentralized apps. They have a whole bunch of other tokens that could eventually run on top of them like we're seeing with Ethereum right now. Why didn't I say Ethereum? Because it's slow, okay? We all know it has scalability issues. But I like the platforms. Well, what if there was a cryptocurrency just recently released that's actually going to be where that question mark is kind of on top of all of those platforms. This is like thinking on the meta, okay? So guys, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if this one's going to be the number one of 2018, but I know that the platforms are doing very well because they're platforms, because they have a whole bunch of other stuff running on top of them. Well, I think that something could be on top of that would probably make more money and being how it's just out and no one's talking on it and it's not even on the top 100 in coin market cap, yeah, I think there's a lot of room for growth in it. So you guys are asking, what is it? And yeah, I'll get to that. But <laughs> basically, I take a look. So I like to find patterns, okay? I look at, I guess, internet, the internet, to compare blockchain to the internet. So on the internet, we have the Google Play Store. We have the Apple Store. We have... Amazon and all this stuff. These are like platforms, okay? And then there's a whole bunch of apps running on them. There's a whole bunch of stuff sold on Amazon so people get fulfillment from Amazon. But what's really up top? That's Google, okay? Google's on top of everything. They're making the money from everything. Where do you go to find stuff? You go to Google. Where do you find go to find information? You go to Google. And up until this point, we haven't really had a Google of the blockchain until now, all right? <laughs> Guys, I want to introduce you to Nebulous. I know that kind of that sounded kind of like um, showy, but anyways, whatever. Um, guys, Nebulous. Okay, this is one. My buddy Blockchain Brad introduced me to this one, and as soon as I heard about this, my jaw dropped. This one is crazy. It really is what I think could potentially be the Google of the blockchain. I mean, chances are that Google's probably working on some blockchain stuff. I mean, they're not a stupid company. They have some of the most brilliant people on earth. But if they're not, pff, Nebulous, right here, it's already out. It's already got a test nut launched. It's already on the way. And it's got some heavy hitters on the team. So let's talk more about Nebulous. Now, right now, Nebulous is trading at $6.38. Total supply, 100 million. Circulating supply, they haven't updated that on CoinMarketCap. So that means that right now, it is ranked 1090. Once they update it, it'll probably be a bit higher than that. But Couple reasons for it. Number one, it's just out of ICO. So it's just recently available. Number two, because it's only available on a few exchanges, Huobi, Gate, OK Exchange. All right, that's the only places you can get it. So right now, not on any gigantic exchanges, makes it more difficult to get. And you guys remember, all of these markets, the cryptocurrency markets are based on supply and demand. Well, the supply is fixed, 100 million tokens. The demand is going to change by the number of people who wanna to get to it. So right now, a very small amount of people can get to it because it's on small exchanges because most people don't know about it. Nobody's heard about it. Well, guess what? When it's on more exchanges, when more people hear about it, when more people start talking about it, uh, demand is going to skyrocket and that's going to shoot the price up. Simple as that. Simple economics, guys. Simple economics. Okay. But anyways, let's go take a look some more at Nebulous. All right. Basically, it's working on searching blockchain data. Guys, we have the blockchain out here. We have all these different blockchains. Now, one thing that we're gonna be addressing in 2018 is blockchain interoperability with things we've discussed like um, the Blockchain Interoperability Alliance, but also how about searching on there? I mean, being able to have a, 
being able to search anything on the blockchain. All right? Awesome. How come there's been no projects like this yet? I don't know, but this one's pretty rad. Okay. Additionally, okay, it uses familiar programming languages, so very easy programming languages. The search ranking algorithm or the value ranking algorithm is open source. So one of the things that they discuss um, in an interview is that with Google, Google's motto is do no evil. But they're like, can you really do no evil as a big company? And there was like a long pause. But they don't want this to be long pause. They want this to be open source. They want everybody to know what's going on. And you can also search all types of data on there. You can search pretty much anything on the blockchain. And basically what they're doing, so they have the nebulous rank, nebulous force, and the developer incentive protocol. I'll go over this stuff in a little bit. But then they have their search framework. And then, so it's going to be a search frame, it's going to be a search engine, which I think is the big thing. And if you guys think about search engines in real life, Google's freaking enormous. They're also going to have App Store. They're going to have the tokens, social networks, different stuff like that. The roadmap, okay, so started back in June of last year. Um, then they have the white paper. Just recently, December 31st, their testnet went live. Um, so right now they're operating as an ERC-20 token, but once their mainnet is released, they're going to have their own token, which you can just exchange the Nebulous token now for that main token. And then they're going to keep evolving from there. All right. They have some pretty big partners here. So some ones that uh, the, global, the Global Blockchain Innovation Center, Loopring, all types of other stuff. So big stuff there. But guys, that's not all. That's not all. All right. Some frequently asked questions on their page. Is Nebulous the Google of the blockchain? To a certain extent, yes. All right. So they're both search engines. However, Nebulous is built for a different purpose to search smart contracts, decentralized applications, and assets on the blockchain. Google's used for the internet. However, however, um, the blockchain is becoming the internet. And if you think about projects with decentralized internet, like Substratum, like um, Tron, like Skycoin, okay? We're gonna have a decentralized internet soon enough on the blockchain, so why not have this search engine for that? Now guys, taking a look at the technology that they have going on for them, they're working on value ranking, which is called the nebulous rank. So any of you who ever dabbled in SEO or know a little bit about how pages are found on Google back in the day, they don't use it anymore, but back probably like 2012, somewhere around there, Google used something called PageRank. That basically, every internet page had a rank and that rank determined where they came up on the search rankings, okay? So Nebulous is doing something similar similar with a Nebulous rank to rank blockchains and stuff on blockchains, smart contracts, other types of things. Additionally, it's self-evolving. So it's always moving forward on its own. Artificial intelligence, right? And then there's incentives. So developers actually get rewarded in Nebulous tokens for helping develop this. So yeah, they're gonna keep using it. They have some pretty pictures here describing everything. Another thing I wanted to show you guys here is this team. Oh, I tell you the teams are important. This team is some freaking heavy, heavy, heavy hitters. If I wanted a dream team, uh, yeah. This would probably be it, all right? Hitter Zhu, founder of NEO, okay? Worked for Google. Uh, there's some other stuff that I can't remember now. Something about, um, oh, Alibaba Finance, something or other like that. So, yeah, oh, heavy hitter, okay? And then everybody else, lots of experience with NEO, already tons of blockchain experience with a very successful blockchain project. Oh, heavy hitters. Feel that, guys. Feel that. Cool. So, what else, guys? Well, they have Twitter, Testnet, they're hiring, things like that. Then there's the white paper, all right? The white paper describes a couple things that are worthwhile to note. It's very technical, so it's, a, it's, an, it's not an easy read. But it's worthwhile to go through it. They talk about everything they have going on with the nebulous rank, the nebulous force, which uh, is the self-developing system. They have the, the developer protocol. And then their consensus algorithm, completely different from anything we've seen before. Kind of a mix of the two of them, but for the most part, very different. So it's not proof of work, all right? We don't have to have these computers mining using lots of electricity. We're not having proof of stake where you have to be really wealthy to be able to do stuff. You're staking everything. Also, it's not proof of 
interest, is that it? Whatever no, POI, whatever NEM uses, it's not that either, okay? It's a mix of POS and POI, which gives proof of devotion. So basically, the more you contribute, the more um, the more you have. And really, the three points for their consensus algorithm here, speediness, irreversibility, and fairness, which all kind of makes sense. That's what everybody wants. So guys, because of that, because of all that stuff, because Nebulas is building a search engine for the blockchain, it's going to be able to basically find anything on any blockchain, work between all of them, have a really good consensus algorithm, a lot of incentives to get people to use it, to develop it, to move it forward. Because of all of that, and because it is placing itself in a position to kind of have I wouldn't say control, but to be able to impact all of the blockchains the way that Google is able to impact everything that you search for on Google. Because of that, I think Nebulous has huge potential. In addition, they also, it's tough to get. Not many people know about it. There's very few YouTube videos about it. So because of that, not many people know about it. So for those two reasons alone, I think Nebulous is gonna be huge this year. I believe, just as Google dominates the internet, I think Nebulous has the potential to dominate blockchain in a good way, do no evil, you know? But I wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys want more information, Blockchain Brad does a very good interview with Hitter Zhu, the CEO, okay? Founder of NEO, co-founder of NEO. So I'll link to that down in the description. And for you guys who just stuck around to find out how to win that Ledger Nano S, all you have to do is go to crypto-love.com slash ledger and you can win that there. And for the rest of you guys, for all of you who stuck around to the end, you are my very favorite. So thanks for hanging out. Always a pleasure, guys. I love bringing you this content every single day. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a good one. All right. Peace.